Well, I think dad's in the smoke over there. Oh, shoot. That is the Indian grass. Oh no. Where's dad? Today's a real exciting day. Well, evening, actually. Normally I would have gone home a little bit ago, but we are burning today. Oh, maybe 70 acres worth of big blue stem and some little blue stem, hopefully. And if we get to it, some Indian grass and some Canlo switchgrass. Everyone say hi to Kent. Kent, hey. say hello. Hello. We are following dad. He is wetting down this path. As you can see the path right here, big blue stem on this side. The wind is blowing this direction. And so when the wind is blowing that direction, we want to start a fire that way, which seems a little counterintuitive, but it's because it, we want to stop. We want a fire stop here. So then we can come from the other side and the fire won't be able to go anywhere because another fire had already stopped. Hey guys, editing Nicholas here. I was just watching that part and I have no idea what I just said. So I'm gonna try and use this diagram to help explain. Also, I have no idea how to do animations on the computer, so we'll see how this goes. So let's pretend every single field we're burning is a rectangle, like this one. And the wind is blowing this direction. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a fire against the wind. And that's what we call a backburn. And then we'll go around to the other side and start a really strong fire and that will burn into the backburn. But hopefully where we've wet down past the backburn and the backburn are going to be strong enough to keep it from jumping over. This is our Indian grass. So as you can see, it's got uh, just a little bit of a gap. We don't want it to jump to that side. If it does, I guess it's not the end of the world, but uh, that would be a little past our control. Wait, 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 tell, tell the story, Ken. So basically we're trying to prevent what happened to me earlier this year on a burn is one of those things where everybody had the day available. It wasn't the best idea to be burning, but we went for it anyways. And it was like 25 mile an hour winds, jumped the creek, burned what we burned last year. Uh, there was a lot of hats being thrown, people yelling at each other, <laughs> smoke swallowed, and uh, a lot of prayers that thankfully were answered in the end. Did the did the sheriff's department come out the fire station at all? Uh, no, we didn't end up having to call. You know, that's kind of when you're doing controlled burns, that's like the tap out moment. You know, that's all. <laughs> you take an L when you got to call the, call the fire department. But... Take notes. It doesn't matter how much help you have. You can't beat 25 mile an hour winds. That's right. It just we doesn't six work. Six guys that day. Six. <laughs> Tonight we got, we got three. We got three. That's all you need. Just three. Get ignited. So I fluff this up so when you fluff it up, it lights better. Sure. I am literally driving a flamethrower, which is a fun time. Kent, how you feeling? Good. Feel a little warm back here. He's following us with water. You want me to run in the... You all right? That one was spicy. We're coming to the end. All right. Dad's coming down to make sure there's no extra fires. It is really wanting to get on that path there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's got a nice back burn to it. It looks, it looks good. It should keep us from burning down the prairie next to us. Well, yeah, cross your fingers. <laughs> We're just going back now through the smoke to make sure nothing's catching fire in the Indian grass. We got our makeshift fire truck up there, halfway out of water. It's warm, it's 90 degrees, and that fire is still making me feel warm. It's toasty. I know it doesn't look like much, but that's a big old campfire, guys. But look how pretty it is. Man, that's cool. It's a nice even burn.
Ken, how long before you think the fire department gets called? Well, you know what? I think Carol is our fire department. You can see we've got our back burn here. And our back burn's about to fight against the main burn that we just swept through with. Man, look at all that smoke just covering the pond. So hopefully our back burn was thick enough. Yeah. Woo, it's hot. That is warmer than I am comfortable with. I'm having to squint my eyes real bad. This back burn seems like it kind of went out, but the front burn, you can see they're starting to come in against each other right there. Oh guys, I'm crying. I'm crying from going through all that smoke. <laughs> We're going through the back and man, it just burned straight through this. It's only been maybe a hundred seconds yeah. since we lit it on fire and it's burned straight through. Well, there's some good, there's some good advice in there too with Carol had all that grass laying down and that been standing up, it would have been a lot harder to control with the breeze today. Yeah. So if your back's up against the wall with your CRP contract, you gotta get gotta get it burned. It's hot and dry like it is right now and May is tense. It's gotta be done by the 15th of May for your CRP contract. Maybe need to get out and knock it down with the mower first before you light it up. Whew. I wish you guys could see how majestic it is. How many acres of this stick that we just burned? Maybe maybe like 26, something like that. Start to finish right around a half hour from wetting down to us getting everything lit. Now went so fast, we're gonna now try and do rough drop seed just as a bonus. Although Ken's struggling, he's struggling to get it lit. Ken. You know, Ken, that's, that's right over the fuel tank. You know that, right? I gotta get it out of the wind a little bit. We got it. No! I think it's the way we're facing. Don't play with fire. The smoke over here is a lot darker than it was in the big blue stem, which is so interesting. Well, it's been exactly three minutes since we started burning this field. Well, maybe more like six. And uh, it is totally put out at this point. Man. Took a water break, guys. Make sure you stay hydrated out here. Right now we're burning another big blue stem field and we are headed into the little blue. And the little blue is still standing, so it should get swallowed up by fire real quick. I'm excited to see what it does. You ready, Ken? Yeah. This is gonna go fast. Yeah. Let's get out of this smoke. Oh, here it comes. We're just going straight ahead. Woo! Let's get out of here. This is Canlo switchgrass, the tallest and thickest of the switchgrasses. Hunters love it for their deer. I mean, look how tall this stuff is. It rivals big blue stem. You can basically see where the deer have laid down all year. Dogs won't go in here. It's too thick for them. They don't like it. for us. Dad's not on the other side of that. 
Ken, what would you say? How many seconds ago was there a full standing prairie here? No more than 90. <laughs> that is crazy. There's nothing left. Well, I think Dad's in the smoke over there. Oh, shoot. That is the Indian grass. Oh, no. Where's Dad? There he is. He's trying to fight the side that is that. Look how he's booking. Do you guys see him? He's booking real hard. He's trying to save the Canada wild rye in there. He's going back and forth spraying it. How can you see through the smoke, Dad? He's driving right through that fire. That dude doesn't give a crap. Look at him. He is in that fire. So that jumped straight from this field, the huge one you just saw, and jumped straight into this Indian grass field, which we were gonna try and burn if we could, but right over there, you can see where it gets a little green right there on the ridge. That is Canada wild rye, and we did not want it hurting the Canada wild rye. Man, that's crazy. What were you saying, Ken? You can see where our water line is that we laid down in between the switchgrass and the it's not then, black at all. Yeah, the heat just, just jumped out like nothing. All right, so Dad's out of water. He sent us to go fight the rest of the fire. Are you ready, Kent? I'm ready. There she blows. We got to take care of this bad boy. Get it, Kent. The truffle shuffle. Here. That's what we need. <laughs> Dude, I think that just spread it worse. <laughs> we had one job. Your shoe's still intact, Kent? Am I on fire anywhere? Stop, drop, and roll in Old Prairie. <laughs> you know that make it worse. Yeah, you just lay down in more fuel. <laughs> a little blue stem. Well, our sun is set, and we'll still be going. Because thousands of years ago, they discovered that the sun is not the only source of light. should start picking up. Yeah. Hopefully there's a tiny breeze. Wow, that was like a tiny smolder two seconds ago. Well, I made a mistake, Ken. We gotta go through that smoke. All right, I'll hold my breath. Oh, look at it race towards us. <laughs> that is so cool. I wish we were on a hill where we could see it. So we can't make it through that smoke, so we are going all the way around. I don't know, man. This doesn't look like it's going around anything. Looks like we're going right through it. My eyeballs are already hurting. Oh, they burn. They burn. So there's the little blue stem field that we just were burning, and now we're doing this Indian grass field. I'm excited for this because it's thick, and even though the edge here isn't standing, the Indian grass on the inside is standing. And we'll be able to see it because we'll be on a hill. Man, she's ripping through fast. the last bit wow Ken how do you feel pretty dang good man look at that the night's worth the work <laughs> just burning away oh that's getting real toasty yeah, really cool. off the stuff that was laying flat so packed 
stuck together so tightly. Man, listen to that crackle. I'm attacked by a tune bug. Not happy he burned his home. Yeah. They grow back better and thicker though, Mr. June Bug. So please do not bite us. You can't see it on camera, but there are June bugs flying everywhere. Tent says they all just got evicted. They ain't got nowhere to go. So they're hanging around us. Hopefully they can uh, fly over to the north end of the farm where we still got some grass. It's interesting uh, mingling of pheasants and June bugs tonight. Ah, uh, yes. It's like, uh, it's like farmersonly.com, but it's like J June grass only Indian grass. <laughs> I wish we could do like some event, but you know that some person's gonna run in the fire and ruin it for everyone else. I mean, look at the glow on my face just from fire. It's dark out here. Well, ladies and gents, this is the remnants. Kind of looks like a volcano in the nighttime. Well, guys, it's 9:25. I am tired. I'm going home to shower. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hawks and Native Seeds. See you next time. That's a lot of smoke. Might even, might even say it's smoky. Don't laugh at that, Kent. That was a bad joke. I don't even have any kids to validate that joke.